Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about modifiers in Jetpack Compose. So, let's get started. First of all, let's understand what is modifiers is actually. Modifiers allow you to decorate or augment a composable. Modifiers let you do change the composable size, layout, behavior and appearance. Add information like accessibility levels, process user input, add high level interactions like making an element clickable, scrollable, draggable or zoomable. For example, more specifically we can say it will allow you to control the composable width, height, clip shape, offset, background color, border, etc. Let's see how we can use and utilize the modifiers. Let me create a new project. I will upgrade the Jetpack Compose version. Go to the main activity, clean up the unnecessary things, let me put a box. Another box. So I want the child box have a color. So I will use the background modifier. Let's say the red color. So we cannot see the red box because it has no size. That means the, right now the size is 00. zero. So let's put the size. Suppose I want the weight to be 100 dp. Then the height maybe 200 dp. Let's see what happens. So guys, you can see our box is now 100 dp wide and 200 dp in height. So let me just refactor it little bit so that you can understand what the modifiers I have used. This is used to mention the width this is mentioned for height and this is for background if you want your composable need same width and height then you can use size modifier as well suppose i need 100 dp in both width and height Yes, this way 
by means of one value you can have both width and height now I will use the offset suppose the X offset may be 20 dot DP and Y offset also 20 dot DP yes you can see our offset modifiers working fine now I will use the border one suppose the border width may be 4 dot dp and the color maybe the blue one yes this is our border remember that the sequence of applying the modifiers is very important let's see suppose I move the border before the offset and let's see what happens So you can see offset is not applied on border first border is applied then offset is applied then the background is applied that's why the border and background are in different place so the modifier sequence is very important so revert back to the original sequence okay now we will use the clip it will take a shape suppose I need the rounded corner shape with 12 dp radius So the clip is applied but the border is not ok. Let's try whether border has a shape. The same shape I will use here. yes it is perfectly okay now I will use fill max width fill max width means it will take maximum possible width and let's say the height may be 200 dp yes you can see our box has taken maximum possible width but because we have applied the offset as well so it goes beyond the right let's remove it yes this has taken maximum possible width so this way you can use fill max height it will take maximum possible height if I use wrap 
content height let's see what happens you cannot see because it don't need any height let's put a text so that it really need a height you can see our box takes as much as need so this way we can use wrap content width yes it's working fine now let's use wrap content size let's use fill max size yes it's working fine now i will use the clickable suppose i want a toast the click is working fine so this way we can use some basic modifiers let's summarize what we have learned the width height size fill max width fill max height fill max size wrap content width wrap content height wrap content size background border clip and offset so that's all about few basic modifiers hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching